Hi, Todd Domke here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems. As we look at all the great new enhancements in SolidWorks 2015, the place I like to get in early and take a look is in sketching. This is something regardless of the industry we're in or the type of geometry, we all need to start with sketches uh, before we can get our 3D geometry created. So the quicker we can get things constrained and our design intent locked in, the better. All right, let's take a quick look here at how things We've always been good with constraining your sketch, making it as quick and easy as possible. This year, they've done it one more. Take a look here where we can now, at the start, uh, I chose uh, tangent arc, so of course at the, at the start of it, it's going to be tangent to that line, but now, even as I terminate it here, notice the context toolbar offers me that option to make it tangent to that line I connected it to. So now, I don't have to go to the select mode, control select both those objects and then add the relation I just do one click as soon as I finish you can see how that's gonna make you a lot faster let's try another one up here I finish at this line I get these options here okay without even asking for them okay make things perpendicular even something like a spline Okay, we'll end that there and you'll see again, just by as soon as I terminate, I get the context toolbar. I can make it tangent or curvature continuous just like that and I can move on. A quicker way to do things now too is at the vertex that connects two different entities. So instead of selecting this line and control selecting this line and then applying the constraint, it's going to be much faster. Now I can just select the vertex that connects the two lines and you'll see I already have that option. Okay, it's one less click, and it's literally going to cut your time in half for doing this, if not even more. Here's another one. We have an arc where it meets a line. Pick that vertex, tangent, just like that. No more of that multiple selection on most of these uh, relations anymore. That's really going to speed things up. Here's one where if I select this line, and this, and it's the software's done this for some time, but if you look in the property manager, how it bolds horizontal over vertical, that's telling me. It's just telling me that the, the, the nearest solution is to make that line horizontal, much closer to horizontal than vertical. But now you'll see it even on your context toolbar. When I, you'll see how that line is ghosted around the horizontal button. That's telling me that that is the closest solution. So this helps if I've got my sketch rotated 90 degrees and it's getting hard to uh, keep track of what is vertical and horizontal. That'll definitely clear things up make things a lot more intuitive. Alright, let's see where what else we can do here. Uh, in terms of dimensioning, this is a good one because uh, just like we can do diameter dimensions like this 300 or this 500, anytime you dimension to a center line, you know where you can just double that, bring it across the center line and double that and make it a diameter dimension. Well this year, if you hold the shift key, you now have that option with angle dimensions. Okay, much easier and you notice my cursor here it leaves that mode on so I don't have to select the center line again I can just go select another angled line hold the shift key there's my double dimension okay so again locking in more of my design intent as well as making it very quick and easy to do so let's go over here and let's look at something uh, this is also something I've been looking for for a while a midpoint line so now right at the start I'm already locking in my design intent create a midpoint relationship at that construction line so now as I draw that now it transitions to just back to standard line but now I don't have to go and add a line or make selections to get this midpoint relation it was done on my first click which most of the time that's what I know I want before I start sketching so it's just an easier way to do that be sure to look for that again. It's the midpoint line. That's a great one. It's kind of like just like mirrors that first line for you. Let's look at rectangles. These have been good for a while. We've always had these options to add construction lines for the center rectangle. But now you'll see we can do that for any type of rectangle. So these construction lines help give us references. Uh, they were only from the corner vertices before. Now we have the option again in any type of rectangle to have those construction lines come from the midpoints of the sides which is going to give us a little bit more uh, better control again over design intent. 
Okay, so just like that, you can see I've got these automatic center lines in there, and it gives me a real nice reference that then I can use to attach this. And it's just going to save me, again, a lot of time because that's what it's all about, getting these clean, constrained sketches as fast as possible. This is an interesting one here that was highly requested. We now have a tool for arcs and lines to equally segment those types of entities now. So for a line here, you just put in either it'll just put sketch points on that single line segment for you as references, or it will take that single line and break it up into multiple equally spaced collinear segments. Okay, so we'll go six here. And now take a look. You can see that each line now has a collinear relation to the line next to it as well as equal length. Okay, very helpful. A lot easier for the software to do that for the, than to, for you to do it manually with the trim tool. And lots of uh, equations. Okay, looking pretty good here. Let's, uh, here's, this is an easy one. When we, whenever we have construction geometry, you might have long chains of it. For some reason, when it was construction geometry, we could not use the select chain, which again is a huge time saver, selects any kind of connected entities. Now it works on all of that construction geometry. So now I can quickly make changes. Okay, so these are some of the new tools in SolidWorks 2015 sketching that are just going to make your day a lot easier, help you get nice, clean, constrained sketches in faster, and help you get your job done.